A long time ago, I noticed an interesting pattern when exploring the 12 times table. I used the pattern to come up with a quick and never before seen method for multiplying any number by 12 in your head. Let's start by looking at the first five multiples of 12. Do you notice the connection between the factor being multiplied by 12 and the amount of tens in the product? They are equal. But when we look at the next five multiples of 12, the amount of tens in the product is one more than the factor being multiplied by 12. And then the next five multiples of 12, the amount of tens in the product is two more than the factor being multiplied by 12. And then the next five multiples of 12, the amount of tens in the product is three more than the factor being multiplied by 12. Hopefully you can see the pattern. You take the number being multiplied by 12, and to it, you add the number of whole times five divides into that number. That gives you the number of tens in the product. But how do you get the number of ones in the product? Let's look at this group of multiples of 12 to analyze the pattern. You look at the ones digit of the factor being multiplied by 12, and then you double it, and that becomes the ones digit of your product. But when looking at the next group of multiples of 12, when you double the ones digit, you get a two digit number. Just take the ones digit of that number, and that becomes the ones digit of your product. Let's test out this pattern so you can see how easily it works. To find the product of 12 times 36, you take 36 and figure out how many whole times does 5 go into 36, ignoring the remainder. 36 divided by 5 is 7 and 1 fifth. So you add 7 to 36 to determine there are 43 tens in the product. Then to get the ones digit, take the ones digit of 36, which is 6, double it to get 12, then use the ones digit of that answer, 2, for the ones digit of the product, making the product 432. Let's try again. To find the product of 12 times 72, you take 72 and figure out how many whole times 5 goes into 72, ignoring the remainder. 72 divided by 5 is 14 and 2 fifths. So you add 14 to 72 to determine that there are 86 tens in the product. Then to get the ones digit, take the ones digit of 72, which is 2, double it to get 4, and use that as the ones digit of the product, making the product 864. Let's try one more time so you can see how fast this can be done as you get the hang of it. To find the product of 12 times 55, you take 55 and figure out how many whole times 5 goes into 55. 55 divided by 5 is 11, so you add 11 to 55 to determine there are 66 tens in the product. Then to get the ones digit, take the ones digit of 55, which is 5, double it to get 10, then use the ones digit of that answer, 0, for the ones digit of the product, making the product 660. Let me show you a general formula for finding the product of 12 with any positive integer n using this pattern. The formula says to take the n value and add the floor value of n divided by 5, which just means round your answer down to the nearest whole number. This gives the number of tens in the product. Next, do n mod 10 to get its ones digit, then multiply that by 2, and do that value mod 10 to get its ones digit. This gives the ones digit of the product. Using this formula, let's find the product of 12 and 67. Start by taking the floor of 67 divided by 5, which gives 13. Add that 13 to 67, giving 80. This is the number of tens in the answer. Then, to find the ones digit of the product, do 67 mod 10 to get its ones digit of 7, double it to get 14, and do 14 mod 10 to get its ones digit of 4. This is the ones digit of the product, making the answer 804. An important thing to note is that this formula for calculating 12 times n is two separate formulas in here, one for calculating the number of tens, one for calculating the number of ones. It's not a product of these two things, it's just the order you would write the numbers in. If we wanted a formula that actually calculated the answer, we would have to multiply the number of tens, of course, by 10, and then add the ones. Now, at this point, you may be seeing a similarity to another very commonly used shortcut for multiplying by 12. Doing 12 times n could be split into 10 plus 2 all times n, giving 10n plus 2n, where 10n gives the number of tens, and 2n gives the number of ones. But because 2 times 5 is 10, 
For the amount of times 5 goes into n, you generate an extra 10 that gets combined to the 10n. This directly relates to why in my shortcut, I add the floor of n over 5 to n to get the number of 10s. Let's now find the product of 12 and 67, which we just figured out is 804, using the second method so you can see the connection to my shortcut. We start by doing 10 times 67 plus 2 times 67, which is 670 plus 134. Notice 134 is a 130 plus a 4, which means we have 67 tens from the 670 and 13 extra tens from the 130, giving 80 tens and 4 ones for a final answer of 804. Using my shortcut, we came to the same conclusion of there being 13 extra 10s by rounding down 67 divided by 5 to 13. Hopefully you enjoyed this shortcut, and if you want to test yourself out, try these products. Leave a comment with the answers, and if you are able to use my shortcut to calculate them in your mind quickly. Also, do you know any other clever math tricks? Jensen Man.